Greetings everyone, Xanrath here, welcome back to my Hearthstone, another week in the Tavern Brawl, and this week, Brawl of Champions Grand Finals. It all ends here, which champion shall stand victorious? Choose a troll champion, and you'll get the strongest shrine yet. So, I don't know how they, um, necessarily decide what is the strongest shrine, or if that even means anything, but we're gonna go with Rogue. Um, last week I tried to, try to mix it up, play, play some different classes than I usually do, um, or at least not just play Rogue the whole time, but unfortunately I do have a Rogue quest this week, so we kind of want to, you know, two birds, one stone it. Um, so yeah, we're going to go with Rogue. I believe we've seen the one where you cast spells. So the first week it was, um, it was the, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, all your lands get stealth, and then when the shrine dies, everything gets plus one, a plus two attack. Second week was, um, <laughs> was uh the ba -ba 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 -ba. it was the every time you cast a spell it does it ca it casts twice and this week is the steel one because I, I remember that one because um it was the one that uh i used for the solo mode um let's see here ba -ba -ba -ba. i guess we'll toss that back and so i kind of had a feeling that a lot of people would be playing this and i chuckled because you know our opponent's playing rogue too so, lots of cards being stolen, I think is what's going to happen here. Alright, so they're Russian, it looked like, or something? No, oh, they stole that card. Okay, I was going to say they already played a card that was going to rush, but okay, no, they just, uh, they just, uh, yeah. And oh yeah, I forgot, it discounts. It's, um, I guess he forgot to use the charge, but that's cool, that's cool. Uh, I guess we do that? Sure. It kind of forces him to dagger, I guess. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> We're just going to steal each other's cards. That's cool, I guess. Um, you know, teaching the kids the good life lessons, unfortunately. Um, theft of property, right? Um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, unless... Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure this has backstab. I'm pretty... No, that is a pirate. Oh, bummer. I was going to kill my dude. Okay, that's... Fine. So I'm not gonna steal a card. So he's up one card because he's stolen a card of mine. But um, let's see. We can go like this. That's happening for sure, right? Do I play another one of these dudes? Do I play the rush? That's not a. That is a pirate. Oh, I can actually clear one of his guys. Um. I guess I do it. I don't know. I'm not super satisfied. I guess next time I can dagger and play the deck hand. Alternatively, I guess I could attack with the dagger now, get a pirate, but then he still kind of clears my board. No, let's just play this guy, I guess. Um, that way, next turn, I can dagger into this. When he, if he trades here, unless he plays another one of these guys, then it's kind of... Well, I guess I can still dagger into it with my own, with a deckhand to finish it off. Or actually, no, it's just... No, it's 1-1. One, one. Okay, never mind. Uh, so we just use the deckhand. I don't know. Not the best situation here. Um, Alright, so there's that. Um... If nothing else, then I guess I'll just deckhand into that and dagger it, and then take the free- Nope, alright. Oh, I forgot about it. Yes, he had to attack. I forgot about that part. Um... In this case, I guess I do it this way? Where... I trade into this thing like that and take three less- or two less damage. Uh, so, next turn... I guess we go with the peddler. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping we can get some board. That way, when my thing comes up and his thing comes up, he's probably gonna leave that stealth. That way, he can kill my thing next turn, and then he'll have his up, and then hopefully, I can like I don't know. We're kind of not in the best spot right now. He had a little bit of a better opener, having stole my uh, my thingy, my dude, my captain, captain, my captain. Oh, he's actually gonna attack with that. Interesting. He should have attacked and then played this then, right? Nope's gonna leave it as is. Makes sense. Alright. Oh, I did steal something. Okay, cool. 
Let's go ahead and grab one of these guys. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I was gonna play this and attack, but now I guess I can play this and attack? I think I'll do that. I kinda wanna just get board presence. So he can kill my thing next turn. He's gonna steal a card here. What do he steal? He stole the Swash Burglar as well. Um, he can get another thingy. He can go blah, get a thingy. Bleh, bleh. I can do that next turn. Maybe I just growl next turn. We'll see, we'll see. He's gonna kill my thing, right? So he actually might go bump, bump, bump. I was gonna say, why is this in the deck? But it's a, it's a pirate, it causes everything, right? So, missed uh, one dagger charge there, unfortunately. I wonder if this, uh, I wonder if this has fan. Fan of knives. It's gonna, it's gotta kill the, it's gotta use that to kill the 3-4, right? There you go. Smart moves. Uh, that's really good about it. I guess it what? Really? You considering the 2-3? Over the 3-4? There you go. I don't know. It was just like trying to be cheeky, I guess. Um, I guess I just play this for the body. Really, right? I just want this body on board. Ooh. Do I kill this or do I kill that? I guess I have to kill this. You can take the freebie trade that way. I guess I can do that. And, eh, but it's like, nah, okay. I do that. I play this for the body. Um, and... Do I play this or do I just dagger? I guess I just dagger. Let's take out one of these guys. So, um, yeah, he'll take the freebie here, right? I guess I take that out and that. He still have a 3-2 and a 1-1. One, one. This is still kind of safe. He can dagger into it with the remaining board pending. Okay, there's that. So now he's going to take this. Where's he going to do? Okay, that's, I think that's reasonable too. He probably wants to swing first and then... Unless he cares about that dagger charge. Alright, there's that. There's that. Alright. And this has lifesteal. So we'll go like... This... Like... That. Um... Maybe I just drop my captain. I think I do that. Oh, well, never mind. I was gonna say actually he can just do this and this, right? But is that worth it? Because I don't have any more captains. He took one of mine, so I don't know. And he still has two captains of his own, so uh, we'll see how where this ends up. But I feel like that. I kind of. I mean, what else would I do? I guess I'll just dagger and pass, or maybe equip the spectral cutlass. But. I don't know, I guess this way, he also has more resources than me. I guess I'm going to start kind of getting some resources, potentially. It doesn't know how big his, uh, his turn is, right? So that's got Rush. That's going to go into the Captain now. That's cool. Um, and then he's going to Dagger into my 1-1. He's going to trade this. And uh, then what he's going to do with the 3 mana. Okay. Alright, well, I feel like he's not playing, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm playing pretty alright. He's not, he's kind of making some silly flubs, but, uh, he's kind of had the, the better skill, I suppose, in terms of, uh, some of these, uh, these steals. Um, do I do this with the, no, because he's gonna, yeah, I can just drop this and... No, that's not worth. I guess I can just go with this guy, see what's up. Right? Gain its stats. Sure, whatever. I kind of just have to, I think. Alright. If that's the case, I feel like I kind of want to hold the deck hand. Just so when this dies, I can just like drop this for free and get some value out of it. Maybe I'll do that. Sure. So what's he gonna steal? What's the next best card I have in my deck? Probably he got another Swash Burglar. Okay. 
I mean, I think, I think we need some, some high value steals at some point. He's gotten the best of it, I think, so far. We've both, he's stolen two bucklers, I stolen one. I stole a rush the little monkey dude. He's stolen a captain. All right, Squidward. Or maybe it's Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know. That was going, going pretty ham. Curious if this is going to go into that. Okay. I'm kind of. That's a questionable swing again, especially since these guys are potentially coming up. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go bump, and then do this, into that guy. Ooh! Well, that's good to not have him steal. Uh... Fill the board with the random pirates. Could be pretty helpful. Hmm. Could use that with the ship once this comes out, but you know what? I think I just kind of go with it. I need a big swing turn, I think, at this point. So we'll go ahead and just do it like this, I think. See what we get in terms of pirates. Anything that's helpful, I think. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it this way, right? Because we can do that. Go ahead and do that. Give him one of these guys. Um, sure. So that is our swing turn. We just need to dodge a swing turn from him, which I think we he can very readily do. We've got the cannon barrage. So unless he draw, I think unless he does one of his own. Okay, that's fine. I think I can deal with that, Captain. I think I might just drop. Maybe I just drop the green skin and go. No, I can't play the green skin in this. So I guess I just drop this plus that next turn and just push. Wonder if that's right. I can also maybe sack this guy, get the ship, play the ship in this, and then that. Alright, let's see what he wants to do here. He might he might swing into the uh the this dude, Dread Dread Corsair, right? With his weapon, kill one of these chums. It's one pirate, right? So there's the Oh, he's not gonna attack. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. That is a very unique play. Three damage. Okay. I guess we do like this. This is not a pirate, right? So, hmm. I kind of want to just leave that guy up then. So let's just do this. See what's up. It's really face heavy. Clear this board, actually. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do this then. The mouse is kind of on the fritz here. Some of the clicks aren't really registering, but that's alright, I guess. Of course, it's not super uh, APM intensive. Alright. Looks like he's got something up his sleeve here. Walk on the plank. Oh, he's gonna get bursting for nine somehow. Hmm. Okay. 2 damage, or 2 mana for 6 damage. How does he do that? I don't know. Oh, he has a prep. Oh, he has like prep eviscerate, eviscerate maybe? Yeah, there you go. So he's got eviscerate, prep eviscerate. Ah, oh, man. Oh, Nook doesn't want to use it. Alright, fair enough. Well, I appreciate the win. Even though he had lethal in hand, right? The eviscerate, prep eviscerate. I don't know what order it's in, but... Alright, well, fair enough. Oh, I played a mech. What mech did I play? What mechs are there? Ships can't. No, I didn't play a ship's cannon. That's the mech, right? Hmm, interesting. Well, that was quite, quite the, quite the um, adventure there, I suppose. Um, I feel like definitely early on he had a little bit of a better 
outcome in terms of the steals, but I ended up drawing into the uh, the Shark Rush dude, which saved my butt, right? Because that was the whole that was the swing. That's what happened, right? Otherwise, he was he was not super in control, but kind of in control. Like he was driving the show until that swing turn. That really kind of made the day. So he had the early game. And like I said, I feel like he flubbed a couple times. I mean, like, what if, would they have ultimately made much difference? Probably not, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there are a lot of things that my opponent there could have optimized a little better. Whether they really would have made much difference, probably not. Then again, they also probably could have optimized things, but, um, you know, I think, I think when you know, I think when you know what you need to do to win and you do those things, that's how you win, right? That's not always the case, but, uh, you know, execution is always a uh, part of the game. But when you just, you know, got to utilize those skills. Uh, anyways, that was kind of fun. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious. I guess, sure, let's jump in and see what these other... What are the, shr what are the strongest shrines? I think Warrior, we haven't seen the one where you gain... Um, where the shrine gains... I think attack based on your armor, right? I mean, I didn't do this whole thing where we go around and looked at all the shrines in the first go around, but yeah, I, I'm I'm coming. I'm kind of curious whether there was there is any true merit to the whole um uh what do you call it like oh it's like the strongest shrine this time around like is there? I mean, they probably did design it with that in mind, right? There is kind of like a tier, like this one is good, this one is better, this one is the best. They probably, yeah, it's possible they could have designed it that way. Um, but let's see. We got Priest here, Death Rouse Trigger twice, and we got the Armor one, right? Minion is always equal to your armor, so we've seen that. Cool. Donate these wins. I have to play, is it win three Tavern Brawls or play three Tavern Brawls? I don't know, I can't remember with the quest. We'll see. Looks like we should play. Alright, fair enough. I guess we're going to cheese this out here. Um, Shaman here. What do we got? Shaman, um, we've seen the... There was the one that I think every time you overload, your your minions get plus however much over, you overloaded for attack. That one I think is pretty strong. I don't think we've seen that before, right? Last week was... <laughs> Excuse me. Last week was... Don't remember what it was last week. Um... Yes, yes. Oh, we've seen oh, we've seen Warrior before. We don't want to duplicate these guys. That's fine. Whatever. Um But yeah, we have Battle Cries trigger twice. All right. So we got Death Throttles, we got Battle Cries doubling up. We've got Armor Boys, we've got Steal Your Cards. The Glory of Rastakhan. Thank you. Appreciate that. We've seen Rogue, I think is next, right? And then we got um, so we saw the deal 5 damage when you take face damage one last week. The one before that I think I saw. Did I? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. But it was the... I think anytime you buff something, that shrine also gets the buff. Like a spell. So... Do I remember what the third... Uh... Paladin shrine is? Oh, we got priest again. Oh, man. Come on. Making me do all the work. I will fight um... And I will try. Sable Ghoul. Hmm, that's interesting. King of the Ring, of course. Uh, let's see, let's see. I wanted to say it was something Divine Shield, but I don't... I feel like that's probably not it. So. Alright. Um. Let's go, let's go. This is... Oh, it is, yeah. After a friendly minion survives damage, give it Divine Shield. Cool. I don't think there is a round two, buddy, but uh, good outlook. Positive mentality. That's what we strive for. That's what we strive for. All right. Hunter, we've seen the adapt one. We saw the last week was... That was the first week, I believe. Last week was... I think give your minions overkill, reduce the car, the cost of your card, or of the cost of beasts in your hand by one, I believe. Uh, we just saw Paladin. Come on. Guys, not getting the memo. Is this a trap one? I think this is a trap one. 
I also feel like I haven't seen some of these cards. Like, I don't know. I haven't seen this. I was going to say, like, that heavy metal card from Warrior. I don't think I've seen that before. And I don't think I've seen this before. Still one damage to all enemies. That's cool. Um, we got... Yep, after you cast a spell, random hunter. Yep, cool. All right. Um... What is it? What else? Um... I guess we'll... What is the next class? Uh, Druid. So we saw the one where you summon a minion gets 1-1. One, one. There were... S don't remember what it was from the first week. That was Gonk. That was, no, last week was Gonk. Right, that was the 1-1 one, one when you summon a minion. First week I don't remember. This week... I've seen Shaman too. Come on, guys. Help me out. Save me some time. Uh, but it was... Battle credits, right? That was that was Shaman. Oh, I haven't seen this one either. Suckering Sky Screamer. Whenever you gain armor, draw a card. Cost two less. Look at all these cards I'm missing out on. Shucks. Um. Anyways. Um. Gain arm. Whenever you gain armor, refresh your mana. Wow. All your mana crystals. That seems a little OP. You hear a power. You basically do your whole turn, save two mana, hear a power, and do it again. That's impressive. That's a good hero power. Or, uh, shrine. That's pretty good. Alright. Oh, we've act uh, okay, so we got, we're gonna go, we're gonna go Warlock, we're gonna go Order. Hopefully our opponent's a mage. But of course it's gonna be something else, right? Um, and then when I play, pick, when I pick mage, it's gonna be mage. Right, that's, that's, that's just how it works out. But we've seen priests already. So, um, yeah, the rogue one's kind of fun. Very low health, easy to kill, though. You know, I'm gonna get shaman, that's fine, whatever. We are expecting it to not be mage, so that's, you know, it is what it is. Oh, this was the... I've seen this one. Don't remember what it was, though. Is this the one that we, when you discard? No. We've seen the one where you discard and summons a random demon. This is the one where... I think it's when you take damage, something happens. Right? Is that is that this one? Or instead of taking damage, you... Whenever your hero take Yeah, there we go. Whenever your hero takes damage... Uh, the enemy hero takes it instead. Oh, that's impressive. Alright. Mage. We've seen the... Uh, I think it's the free hero power. When you kill a minion, it resummons it. Or no, no, no. It, when you kill a minion with it, uh, it not just <laughs> resummon it, but it, it refreshes the hero power. We've seen the freeze one, I think, that was last week. That was the one where you... Um, Anytime you freeze a minion, you get the Frostfire Bolt, I believe. Or you freeze anything, you get a Frostfire Bolt. And then what other... What was the other mage one? I don't think I remember the other mage one. But... Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, Paladin again. Fine, shield guys. Um... Whoa! That is... Oh, so it's spell damage. Right, it's plus... I was like, wait, 18 damage? Is that oh no, but it does it deals 15 damage. So it's plus three spell damage, it looks like. Um Oh wait, hold on. I thought for some reason I couldn't actually see the effects. I don't think that was always yeah. Has spell damage for each spell in your hand. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um for some reason I feel like when I was bouncing over things before it wasn't telling me the effect. It just says revives after however many turns. I don't know, that was weird. Anyways. Let's see if we can play the same game again and see if we, uh, I can remember all the the shrines. So we got armor. Uh, shrine has however much has attack power equal to your armor. Battle cries trigger twice. Steal a card from your opponent's deck at the beginning of your turn. Whenever a minion survives damage, uh, gains divine shield. Uh, every time you play a trap or a hunter card, or no, every time you play a spell card, you gain a random trap. Ooh, uh, what was this one? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, oh, uh, it was the ref uh, whatever you gain armor, refresh your, uh, refresh your mana, which seems super OP. Um, anytime your hero takes damage, your opponent takes damage instead. Um, spell damage equal to the number of spells in hand. Uh, and death or trigger twice. So, I kind of like this one. This one, I don't know what I don't know how the deck is built, but I think this is basically just going to be Death and Arrow Priest, right, with the quest and everything. This one seems really strong to me. I feel like that's a little too strong. Anytime you gain armor, it like refreshes your uh your mana. Like that kind of seems like yeah, like I said, like at the end of every turn, just save two mana, hear a power, and then just get all your mana back. It's like yeah, that seems way too strong. This one was kind of fun. I think I like this one in terms of like the solo mode.
Uh, this one kind of seems interesting too. This one is, eh, I'm kind of middle groundish. I don't really like that one. Maybe it could be good. Maybe maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, not that impressed. I like this one. This is kind of fun. Um, yeah, this one it seems really good. This one is, seems pretty good. I like this one. This one. This one kind of seems meh. This one's cheeky. I don't know. I can I, I kind of can see it going either way. Like it can be really good. It can be kind of garbage. Um, just depends on how easily they take board versus you, right? Um, and these aren't like that impressive to me. But anyways, uh, that's it for this week's Tavern Brawl. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.